Hello and welcome to the Superintendent's Perspective. I'm Lisa Yala with Edinburgh CISD Public Relations and I'm joined by Dr. Mario Salinas, Superintendent of Schools, and our Early Education Director, Victoria Martinez. And today we have a great show. We're going to be talking about early education and this is our fifth week of school, of course. So starting out, I'd like to talk a little bit about um, our enrollment and then go into early education. Mm -hmm. So great. sir, tell us a little bit about what we've got going. Uh, for starters, uh, the first thing I'd like to say is that this uh, the early, ch early childhood program, um, we started emphasizing it when I became superintendent. Mm -hmm. one, of the, one of the first things that was on my agenda was to hire a director for early childhood programs. Yes. That was uh, one of the, my points of emphasis. I felt that uh, this is something that the Edinburgh CISD, as big as we are, mm -hmm. needed to have somebody to be an expert with the early early childhood grades, pre-K four, pre -K uh, kinder, mm -hmm. first and second. And yes. then on top of that, uh -huh. we decided that we were gonna um, offer pre-K three to our community for those yes. parents that wanted it. Uh, and so I felt that we needed uh, a director who was an expert in these early grades to to help the principals mm -hmm. focus their, their uh, strategies on how can we best help the teachers in the early grades, pre-K three, four, maximize the classroom experience sure. for the early. You know, we, for the early grades, we, we put a lot of focus, yes. uh, Victoria, and yes. you know, because you were a principal, yes. right. in grades three, four, and five. Of course. Because of the start yes. test. That's right. But we felt that we, we, we can't forget that we, we need to focus also on the grades three, uh, pre-K three, mm -hmm. pre-K four, first, second, if we do a good job of uh, providing the very best ed educational experience for these uh, students, three, pre-K three, four, those, those students are gonna have a better chance of graduating from college, which is what we want. Of course. Now, I'll let Victoria talk about it. She is the, yes. the, the, the first ever yes. early childhood director <laughs> in the history of Edinburgh CID. That's right. Well, Year number you. two. Year wow. two. Now, I've told mm -hmm. Victoria <laughs> my goal for that program is to be the best early childhood program in the whole state of Texas. That is my challenge to, to Victoria. Thank you, Dr. Salinas, mm -hmm. and yes, um, he challenged me with that mm -hmm. task, and first of all, I wanna thank you mm -hmm. for your leadership mm -hmm. and your vision and the support of mm -hmm. our school board. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. uh, they've been wonderful, and, and yes, I've always been an advocate for the early grades, mm -hmm. uh, being a principal for over 17, 18 years. Mm -hmm. wow. I always understood the importance of, of the early foundation, mm -hmm. the being ready, the school mm -hmm. readiness skills, so. Um, we started the pre-K-3 program mm -hmm. and um, it was wonderful. We got the buy-in from our principals, mm -hmm. our teachers. Mm -hmm. Our teachers are real excited, mm -hmm. sir, to have that support, to have that advocate, uh, getting them the resources and the professional development. Um, we brought an excellent curriculum on board. For, we're using Frog Street. It's very comprehensive, mm -hmm. so uh, it's been a great start. Uh, Dr. Salinas, we, you, know, we, you know we have 1,200 plus pre-K-3 students getting a, the best high quality education they right. can receive. We have excellent, excellent platforms uh, going on in the district. The pre-K program was started so that our students would be better prepared when they move on to kinder and the other grade levels ahead of them. Currently we've noticed that based on scores that we see at the beginning and middle of the year with their testing that we're seeing a lot of advancement, that they're really growing and then it's nice to hear when we when they move on to kinder and they tell us that they're so well prepared and, and they see the difference from when we didn't have the pre-K-3 and we did have the pre-K-4 and it did help. And now starting with the pre-K-3, we can even see our pre-K-4 is even growing faster. So we're, they're really, really more prepared than I think they've ever been. So, so well-rounded. We've been in to, to visit a few different mm -hmm. classrooms and a few different schools and they're doing so much and mm -hmm. in so many ways, in so many different areas. Tell, can you tell us a little bit about that kind of curriculum and how yes. it's specialized? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So once we, with your vision, sir, mm -hmm. we, we adopted that pre-K-3 program, uh, Curriculum Frog Street. Uh, it was uh, viewed and vetted by our expert principals, our expert teachers. Uh, we proceeded with it. It covers everything. It has a social and emotional component mm -hmm. and it gives the students an opportunity to do a lot of oral language, build those social emotional skills, how to get along with one another, you know, just 
just the friendly, receptive, well-mannered students that, that we pride ourselves in, you know, that just bringing them up from the bottom up. And uh, we do a, the, we have the reading literacy component, the math component, we have um, this, the STEM is involved there with the science and the arts and the, and the music. Um, it's, it's just a very comprehensive program that allows for the child to be engaged the entirety of the day with rigorous, robust, fun learning activities. Um, and, and the kids love it. The kids yes. love it. Um, they, they don't want any downtime. You know, we have a couple that, that want their little downtime because they're three-year-olds. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, it's been wonderful. And, and we see, we see last year we had that first year implementation. Right. And now that we're visiting the schools, we see that our three girls that are now in pre-K-4, mm -hmm. they're like the fifth graders on campus. That's right. They know what's going on. They're, they just know the routines and they're doing very well. Yes, we went to mm -hmm. visit a school this, this week, a three-year-old. We were in there maybe 20 minutes. Yes. Um, there was a, a group of three-year-olds, four or five of them up against the wall mm -hmm. on a bank of computers. They were uh, practicing their phonics on their own yes. with their headphones, they were watching a video. And then, then there was another group of three or four students, four or five, working with the teacher, going over um, patterns. And letters. Uh, and, and they were talk the mm -hmm. teacher would give instructions, and mm -hmm. they would talk to the teacher, would talk to each other. And then there was another group over here on this side, another three or four, three-year-olds. They were working uh, with uh, iPads. Yes. yes. They yes. were working with iPads and, and, and following along. And then there was another group of students on the other side of the room with a teacher assistant. And they were also working with patterns and, and, and shapes. And, and I, was t I was telling the team there, these are three-year-olds, and, and we're here 20 minutes, right? And these, these students are going at it all day long. Right. Yes, they doing are. that type of activity. Yes, they are engaged. And you multiply that that for 180 days. Yes. Mm -hmm. Imagine the growth. Yes. The growth. Yes. Yes. Just imagine the growth. Yes, and we're doing a really good job right. of of monitoring mm -hmm. the the growth, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, one of my things, you know, my specialties mm -hmm. is is tracking the student growth. Right. And I, I remember I shared that report with you mm -hmm. last year and the success that our students had was amazing, yeah. amazing. Knowing all their letter names, their sounds, their numbers, mm -hmm. the basic readiness mm -hmm. skills, they, they surpassed our first year. Like I was like, wow, these kids are gonna be read, reading in no time right. when they yeah. enter pre-K four. These were three-year-olds. Three-year-old three three -year students, you know, behaving like like <laughs> third graders. <laughs> yes, they, they were well they behaved were, and yeah. they were on their own. Some mm -hmm. of them completely on their own. Others were working with the teacher, another yes. group with the teacher aide, and another group by themselves. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, that's impressive. It you is. Know, and it that's is. the type of environment that, that we envisioned when we talked about uh, having a high quality early childhood program. We've partnered with Region 1 mm -hmm. and this uh, the, the beauty of the professional mm -hmm. development opportunities that we were able mm -hmm. to bring to the district within the last year and up to this point is that we're not only training, not only are our teachers highly qualified, mm -hmm. EC6, you know, or, or from early childhood on up, um, we're training our paraprofessionals. Right. They're mm -hmm. getting the same yes. type of professional mm -hmm. development our teachers are, you know, with the hands-on activities, the manipulatives, the, yes. the social emotional, they're sitting in alongside their teacher, Dr. Mm -hmm. Salinas, mm -hmm. and they're getting the same PD. So the value of not only having the highly qualified teacher mm -hmm. along with a very highly qualified, well-trained mm -hmm. paraprofessional, mm -hmm. right. um, that's why you see that beauty of those centers and everybody constructively working with, you know, amongst their centers and stuff because they're, we're all on the same page. That's right, and, and I want to say that I know there's some people out there that think that pre-K-3 and pre-K-4 is babysitting. Mm, no. That's the furthest from the truth. Correct. That, uh, that can, I mean, there's, they, there's no daycare. babysitting. Mm -hmm. Absolutely they're, not. The students are learning. They're doing constructive uh, things in the classroom yes. that, that uh, eventually it's going to help them with uh, 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 rigorous work uh, at the high school and, and hopefully get them graduated from college. I love the program. Um, I've been doing pre-K-4 for a couple of years now. And um, it really, you see the big growth um, from them coming in, whether they went to pre-K-3 or daycare or they just coming in straight from home. 
um, there is a big growth difference from beginning to end. Is it advanced? It is. But that's where we're going right now, so it's, it's, a, it's good. I loved this example. He was going through, and the, there was a little girl, and she was going through letters, and he was said, oh, well, let me see what the next letter is, and he right. pulled out a V. She was going through the alphabet, and, and he, she took it back, and no, that wasn't the next letter. It right. was, the next letter was going right. to be a U. I, I, she was, she was <laughs> she following the, a through, the alphabet, uh, A through Z. Right, right. <laughs> I said, I said, I'm just gonna help her. Yeah. I got the I got the V, and she was like in the end, and put it back. Oh, like, yeah, that was the end. The end was next. The end is next. Real. Oh, uh, three year old. Gosh, they know. I, they I know. loved it. They were probably Week be five. working with the alphabet yes. art from A to Z. That's right. right. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. And she was very yeah. ordered, you know. And what, see what, what that was. What do you foresee for mm -hmm. uh, the early childhood programs? Mm -hmm. Uh, we're going to get stronger, sir. We're going to mm -hmm. get stronger. I, I want to look forward into building quadra, uh, mm -hmm. qu cadres between, mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, between and amongst the schools mm -hmm. so that we can keep that powerful learning going on. Mm -hmm. uh, we want to keep building that social and emotional component uh, with, our, with our LPCs in mm -hmm. the district, uh, partnering with Region 1. Mm -hmm. Um, we definitely want to continue providing, you know, the resources, mm -hmm. making sure that every single classroom, we've done a great job. The board mm -hmm. has been so supportive. Yes, they've, they've been very, they're very supportive. Very, yeah. very yeah. supportive. They have given us everything we need. Mm -hmm. uh, but we, ke we keep continuing uh, studying the data mm -hmm. and making sure that we're filling those caps. You yes. know, if someone's missing something or they need extensive, you know, more training in a certain area or what it, whatever it might be, uh, I'm continuously looking at that, making sure that I provide that support, like yeah. you say, to the what, campus. What, and one of the things I'd like to see, mm -hmm. uh, Ms. Martinez, is uh, in, go in visiting classrooms, mm -hmm. uh, some teachers are very good. You know, and I know yeah. we have some teachers that are brand new Math. to the profession. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. And I, I think that some of these brand new teachers, we, we need to get a sub for a day and, and go visit uh, some of these more yes, veteran yes. teachers so yes. they can see how they operate right. uh, in the classroom because yes. some of the, some of the teachers that yeah. we see are very very good yes. and I can yes. tell oh yes you know and those those students that are with those teachers that that are very good at what they do they're lucky yes. uh, because they're they're being they're getting exposed to high quality uh, teaching correct and correct. I'd like to see that Across at all our pre-k three mm -hmm. programs and if we have teachers that that need growth because some of them are either brand new to the profession sure. or brand new to the early grades. Yes. Hey, well, I don't mind paying for a substitute for a day so awesome. they can go spend a day with some of these teachers, uh, pre-K-3 teachers, and you mm -hmm. know which, which they are. We, yes, we, we've you look at the data them. Yes. and just spend a day with them. That's great. You know. we, we, that, we will definitely do that. And we also mm -hmm. have, uh, coming up, Dr. Salinas, October mm -hmm. the 1st, uh, we have the CNI uh, team, the entire team, mm -hmm. and we're bringing in all our first year teachers and our pre-K mm -hmm. three, pre-K four, right. anyone between pre-K three through second grade throughout the entire district, but I'll concentrate on the lower grades. Mm -hmm. We're gonna bring them in and we're yeah. gonna give them that, that support and then we'll definitely follow up yeah. with, with that, getting a sub and taking them into the classroom. And, and the, so and the thank you for that. And the community mm -hmm. and the parents are finding out exactly. that the early childhood program in Edinburgh are, are among the very best. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You know. We have excellent teachers, sir. Yes, it's, and it starts yeah. with your leadership, too. Thank, yes. thank you. You know, uh, directing our teachers, giving them what they need, mm -hmm. yes. materials, instructional or, or uh, mat uh, other materials yes, that right. they, they the need in the classroom, mm -hmm. uh, furniture. Uh, and we're going to get better. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. And this mm -hmm. has definitely propelled, I think, in many ways, our, our enrollment. We've grown so mm -hmm. much, and yes. I think it's because the parents are so happy with everything that we've done, everything that you have done, the, the program has done, exactly, oh, yes. the yes. whole yes. thing. The, the and so, it, word of mouth and just talking to each other, word and then mouth. seeing the growth of, of the children when they come home. Yes. I mean, they, they're, it's amazing. Yep. So, word of mouth, you mm -hmm. know, it's getting out there, and, and Parents are finding out yes. that we have a high quality early childhood program. Yes, and it's yes. going to keep Our getting teachers better. are very dedicated, mm -hmm. sir. I yeah. tell them that it takes a special person with a mm -hmm. special heart to be an early childhood teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, they're so passionate about what they do. They, mm -hmm. we have excellent, excellent teachers, administrators on on our campuses, sir. If we're having a rough day, let's go visit our three-year-old program. <laughs>
<laughs> That'll <laughs> brighten your day. It, it does. It really it does. does. It fills your heart, and yeah. it just gives you uh, that lift to see those smiles and see yeah. them excited yes. and happy and doing, doing wonderfully. So we know that it's going to keep getting better and better, and we're excited to see what the future holds. Wonderful. So we'll, Thank you. we'll keep everybody you know, uh, abreast of all the new changes and the new things coming up in the, in the pre-K-3 and pre-K-4 program. Great. Thank all you. All right. Well, thank you very much, and thank you all for joining us this week on the Superintendent's Perspective. As always, stay healthy and stay safe.